New at midday, fire crews are back out in the Chesapeake neighborhood where fire destroyed five homes yesterday. They're putting out some hot spots right now. Only 10 on your side was there around 7 o'clock this morning when crews pulled back into that neighborhood. Andy Fox is live along Sweet Leaf Place, that's near City Park. And Andy has the details for us on what's going on now. Andy? Yeah, we have Virginia Power out here and also Virginia Natural Gas. Uh, they're out here digging. Uh, that is where the fire started. It started in 627. We're told that the wind then took it down. You can see how it just burned houses all the way down. Then there was a wind shift that brought the that brought the fire back. And let's go up now to Chopper 10 and I can show you exactly uh, what we're dealing with. We just got off the phone, uh, just got this message from the fire department. The fire marshal has returned to the scene to continue investigating. Uh, they've isolated the area, the center of the home at 627 Sweet Leaf, where the fire started. Not sure how or why the fire started. Investigators completed their on-site investigation. Today, they will interview the homeowner and witnesses. Virginia Natural Gas is on scene disconnecting. Uh, power was restored to surrounding homes pets, no pets located, no one hurt thankfully. One of the homes was vacant for the past five weeks. We caught up with a Gilmore family. They lost their home. They were right next to the house where the fire started. It's been a long night. Well, it was a long night. Um, of course, we had the fire yesterday. I was just checking over there with the um, guys to see if everything was finally out and if there was anything at all in there that could be salvaged and everything, and everything's completely gone in there. But the insurance company, they've been on top of it. Uh, three or four people have called me uh, since early this morning. Ms. Gilmore was actually in her car when the fire started at the next door neighbor's house, left, then came back and found out her house was gone too. So it's been a very uh, tough night for everyone out here. This is Andrea Smith. She's a concerned neighbor out here, and you're now raising getting items because these people have lost everything they had in their house. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, they've lost everything. Of course, the insurance companies will kick in and, and take care of them, but sometimes that takes some time and there's immediate needs. Some of these needs that you just take for granted, just your everyday needs like toothbrushes, toothpaste, you know, hair and items. What do you want people to do? We have a drop-off location at our clubhouse. It's at the front of our neighborhood. The address is 509 silk tree lane so we will be accepting items there in addition we'll be accepting cash and you can make the checks payable to north trail fire fund also um, any type of gift cards for grocery stores things like that we just ask that you donate five of each item so we can evenly distribute it among the the five families andrea smith thank you very much there's a good thank neighbor you. right there and we appreciate what you're doing to help out your neighbors that's fantastic thank so that's you. the latest from here and uh, we'll keep you updated on this uh, as as mr gilmore said though you know when you look at what happened in virginia beach thankfully no one was hurt or killed here and so they are very appreciative and thankful that that's the scene here even though so much has been lost no one was hurt no one died guys back to you